advantage. All right, with that, let's take our first look at the challenger, J1 Choi, who turns 27 on July the 10th. Choi, the number one rated junior featherweight contender, according to the WBA, hails from the village of Ixan Gun in Chunbuk, Korea, which is a few hundred miles away from Seoul. He's undefeated 18-0 with eight knockouts. Tonight represents his first shot at a world title. J1 Choi doing some last second praying, making his Las Vegas debut. In fact, he's fighting for the first time outside of Asia, has not been very active of late. Only one fight in two years, as we mentioned that because of uh, management problems, and that was uh, this past December, that fight we are referring to, a 10-round decision over the number two challenger, Antonio Cermeno, in Seoul, Korea, an elimination bout which set up tonight's title shot with of Vazquez. So a look at Jay Wan Choi. 18 and 0 with eight knockouts tonight. His first world title shot and his first fight in Las Vegas. The former Korean national super bantamweight champ and Oriental Pacific Boxing Federation junior featherweight champion. And now let's take a look at the champion veteran Wilfredo Vazquez who turns 34 in August. Vazquez out of Bayamon, Puerto Rico has a record of 46 and 3 with 32 KOs. The current WBA junior featherweight champion is the former WBA bantamweight title holder. Tonight he makes his seventh defense of the 122 pound title. A title he's held since March of 92 when he stopped Raul Perez in the third. A surprising victory. who has displayed much resiliency during the course of his successful career. Vazquez lost his first professional fight back in 1981, but he bounced back with 23 consecutive victories, 17 by knockout. Then after losing his first crack at a world title, uh, he bounced back again, winning the WBA bantamweight crown. After losing the title plus a brief one-plus-year retirement, also management woes, he captured his second world title, which he defends once again tonight. Let's see how they stack up on paper now as we go to the tail of the tape. At 33, Vasquez is seven years older than Choi. The height almost even. Vasquez 121 and a half pounds. Choi at the limit, 122, and a two-inch reach advantage for Choi. And of the WBA rules for this championship fight, operating under the 10-point must-scoring system, three judges will score the fight. There is no standing eight count. The three knockdown rule is in effect. Only the referee can stop the fight, and a fighter cannot be saved by the bell except in the last round. So here at the Grand Ballroom, Mirage Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, closing in on the WBA Junior Featherweight Championship, Wilfredo Vasquez and Jay Wan Choi. Set for the official introductions, we go to our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you, and we welcome you to the Mirage Resort in Las Vegas, Nevada. We have a big night of action coming your way, and it's all brought to you by Don King Productions and the Mirage in association with Corona Beer. At this time, we present the first of our world title bouts, the WBA Junior Featherweight Championship. This bout is sanctioned by the World Boxing Association, the president is Gilberto Mendoza, supervisor at ringside Rodolfo Fortich. Along with the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the chairman, Dr. Elias Ghana. Presenting to you the judges as appointed, Manuel Gonzalez, Bill Graham, and Marco Rodriguez, Jr. And the referee in charge of this bout, he'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Mitch Halpern. 
All right, fans, here we go with the WBA Junior Featherweight Championship of the World scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first the challenger on my right, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing blue trunks with white trim, and he hails from Seoul, South Korea. He weighed in at 122 pounds, and his record includes 18 wins. No losses, with eight wins coming by way of knockout. He is ranked the number one junior featherweight contender by the WBA. Please welcome tonight's challenger, the undefeated J. Wan Choi. And his opponent across the ring on my left is the defending world champion fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing red trunks with white trim and fighting out of Bayamon, Puerto Rico. His weight, 121 and one half pounds. His record, 40 wins, six losses, three draws with 32 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he is making his seventh defense of his title. Please welcome the WBA Junior Featherweight Champion of the World. They call him El Gran Campeón Puerto Rico. Wilfredo Vasquez. Once again, here's a referee in charge, Mitch Halpern, now to give instructions. All right, this is for the championship of the world. We've already given the instructions in the dressing room. I want a good, clean fighter, which is obey my commands at all times. Any questions? All right, touch gloves. Let's go. Come on. Final instructions from the referee Mitch Halpern here at the Mirage Hotel in Casino. The champion, Wilfredo Vasquez, a star in his native Puerto Rico, but seeking recognition in the United States. Arguably the best fighter out of Puerto Rico, former three-time world champion Wilfredo Gomez, a man Vasquez uh, emulates. And Jay Wan Choi, he's fought all of his fights in Korea except for one in Japan and one in Indonesia, comes in a three-to-one underdog. So here we go, round one scheduled for 12 for the WBA Junior Featherweight Championship. Vasquez told us uh, yesterday he has observed tapes of Choi, describing him as a tough guy, a batter with a lot of will. His biggest concern is Choi's headbutting, which was noticeable in his last bout with Antonio Cermeno. Uh, Vasquez said his strategy is to study Choi the first two rounds and after the second round go after him and take him out. We'll see if he, if he lives up to that, Bernie. Well, right now, not much is happening. They're just kind of looking at each other. Choi has said he just likes to uh, take that defense and, and use it to see what the other guy's coming with and then start. I don't think he's got that big a punch to hurt uh, Vasquez in the early rounds, and Wilfredo certainly has a big punch to stop you in the early rounds. So let's see what happens. He, he almost turned him around with the right hand. Vasquez in the red possesses a sledgehammer left, a powerful punch utilized to deck Raul Perez to capture the WBA Junior Featherweight title in March of 92, third round TKO. There goes that right hand again. Once he almost turned him around, and this time he went way back with it like a wand in the wind. And uh, there it goes again. His right hand, also a knockout punch, as evidenced in his last fight, March the 2nd, when he flattened Yuichi Kasai twice within a minute 15 of the first round in Tokyo, Japan. Well, I'll be very surprised if he didn't come back to it three times. He's thrown it with maximum effect each time. Vasquez, a seasoned veteran, classic boxer puncher. Smooth straight up, straight ahead. Approach keeps coming forward, as you can see. Excellent tools, well disciplined. He doesn't think Choi has the legs to withstand the pressure. He may not have the jaw either. He's, he's really getting some shots to the jaw. Tested him. He didn't come up too well with the test. He really moved back with each one of those punches. Showing Vasquez that he is getting hurt by the punches. That's that's a bad thing to show a guy that's got the uh, killer instinct that Wilfredo Vasquez has. Three big Wilfredos came out of uh, Puerto Rico, and this may be one of the best. Benitez, the other. There, and there was a right hook that almost did the damage. This guy just doesn't take a punch. A Choi get, reacts to every punch he's, he's got taken. In fact, Vasquez would like to join Gomez and Benitez, the other Wilfredos, as three-time world champions. Someday perhaps stepping up and winning the bantamweight title. There's another good lunging right hand, another right by Vasquez. Let him up, let him up. 
Vasquez also an excellent combination thrower, terrific defensive fighter as well. He's got a very good chin. Knows how to deflect punches with his arms and elbows. Well, if he stays economic, as he's been doing here, just throwing when he's pretty sure he can hit and hitting with the kind of power he's hitting, Choi is in for a bad, bad night. Final seconds of the opening round. And that was the fourth right hand that drove him back. How hot is it here in Las Vegas? Well, outside in the shade, it's around 110 degrees. That is just outside Orland Norris's dressing room. Fortunately, he is in an air-conditioned trailer. Ringside, it's nearly 100 degrees indoors. To say that Las Vegas is experiencing a heat wave is putting it mildly. Record temperatures all week long. All right, let's take a look at that good right hand because it, it, more than anything, notice the reaction. Look at that almost turns him around, screws him into the canvas. That's that's surprising to see a, a, a professional fighter take that kind of reaction to a shot. He got in four of them, by the way. Four. So a good round for Wilfredo Vasquez, round number one. And here is round two. Since losing a first-round KO against Israel Contreras in 1990, Vasquez has won 11 in a row, eight by knockout. He's 46 and three overall with 32 KOs. He turns 34 August 2nd. He says he's in better shape now than when he started fighting. He'd like to fight until he's 40 and maybe beyond. The way fighters are going now, that may not be a problem. The other night, Durant fought at 43. That's, that's too old. And I'm against that. Think we can start a seniors tour? No, you, you get hurt. The more senior you are, the more senior the, the damage to your brain. Talking about the thermometer, both fighters say the sweltering hot weather here in Las Vegas not a factor. Oh, oh there's a factor. A right hand by Wilfredo Vasquez that lowers the boom on Troy. Five, I mean, that was predictable. Six, He's been landing seven, it all night long. Hey, Troy is in okay, bad look trouble. Look at me. Come towards me. Okay. That's odd. He, he doesn't understand English too well, so. I mean, that right hand is so predictable. I mean, in the corner, they told him, just throw it. Just, just turn around and throw it. And, uh, of course, he did. There it goes again. If he follows it up with a hook, it'll be curtains. If he throws the right hand and nails him with a hook afterwards. Such herky jerky condition. And that is it. Mitch Halpert says enough. A correct stoppage because he had no legs under him. He didn't know where he was at. And the right hand was such a thing of beauty and so destructive. He should not be subjected to further punishment. Excellent call on the part of Mitch Halpert. And Wilfredo Vasquez makes his seventh defense of the WBA Junior Featherweight Championship. Meanwhile, Jay Wan Choi, who will have a long flight back to Seoul, Korea, with his first defeat, now 18 and 1 in his first world title shot. Well, the, the outcome of this fight was easily predictable from the first right hand that almost screwed him into the canvas. You said, boy, if it had that, that effect, then it's just starting to imagine what's going to happen to him when it rains down right hands. Vasquez celebrating with the championship belt. Let's take a look at the first knockdown, which is just a pinpoint right hand. I mean, how can you land it better than that? <laughs> That's almost Hollywood stuff. And right on the button, a right cross with all the power he had. And the second knockdown is just by this time, there's very little left of his defenses right on the button again, the right hand. I mean, I don't think he missed the right hand that he threw with uh, evil intention. Everyone landed. See, when he gets up, he just has absolutely no control of his legs or himself. He, he can't even maintain his balance. So, excellent stoppage, quick fight, and a quick night for Vasquez, who is rapidly creeping into the competition of being as good as Wilfredo Gomez. And that's very, very good. There he is, Wilfredo 
Paz Cantu has brought pride to Puerto Rico following in the footsteps of two other champions from that beautiful